Dear people watching and listening, kindly like and share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Kindly support me through Patreon so that I can keep making such audiobooks for you. For your ease, the video has been divided into chapters, which can be found in the description. Izharul Haq, The Truth Revealed by Molana M. Rahmatullah Keranvi. This is the very book which empowered Sheikh Ahmad Didat with the knowledge of the Christian scriptures, which enabled him to challenge the claims of the Christians on Islam, the divinity of Jesus Christ, and their own religion as a whole. The book, internationally recognized as one of the most authoritative and objective studies of the Bible, was originally written in Arabic under the title Izharul Haq by the distinguished 19th century Indian scholar Molana Rahmatullah Keranvi and appeared in 1864. The book was subsequently translated into Urdu and then from Urdu into English by Muhammad Wali Razi. The present publishers are bringing the Wali Razi translation out as a series in several installments of which this is the three parts put together. Molana Rahmatullah wrote the book in response to the Christian offensive against Islam in British Indian and specifically to counter the subversive attack made by the Reverend CCP Fonder, who had written a book in Urdu entitled Mizanul Haq the open intention of which was to cast doubts into the minds of the Muslims about the authenticity of the Qur'an and Islam. Part 1. The Books of the Bible These are nothing but names which ye have devised, ye and your fathers, for which God has sent down no authority whatsoever. Surah An-Najm Chapter 53, verse 23 The books of the Bible are divided by the Christians into two main parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. The books of the Old Testament are claimed to have been received through the prophets who were prior to the Prophet Jesus a.s., the Messiah. The books of the New Testament are believed to have been written through inspiration after Jesus. All the books of the Old and the New Testament together are called Bible. Bible is a Greek word which means book. Both the Testaments are further subdivided into two parts. The first part of the Old Testament is believed to be authentic by almost all the ancient Christians while the authenticity of the other parts is held to be doubtful and controversial. The First Division of the Old Testament This collection comprises of 38 books. 1. Genesis The book of Genesis describes the creation of the earth, skies, and gives an historical account of the prophets Adam, Noah, Abraham, Isaac, and Joseph. The book ends with the death of the prophet Joseph. This is also called the Book of Creation. 2. Exodus Exodus is mainly a description of the life of the prophet Moses. It includes the teachings of Moses his altercations with Pharaoh, Pharaoh's drowning in the sea and the oral communication of God with Moses. It ends with the Israelites camping in the desert of Sinai. It is called Exodus because it describes the event of the Israelites' exodus from Egypt. 3. Leviticus Leviticus is a collection of the injunctions and laws given to the Israelites during their wandering in the desert of Sinai. It has 27 chapters. 4. Numbers 
The book of number includes events of the census of the Israelites, their history before their departure to the Canaan and the injunctions of the prophet Moses, revealed to him by the bank of the river Jordan. It contains 36 chapters. 5. Deuteronomy The book of Deuteronomy is a collection of those events and injunctions which took place from after the period of the book of Numbers to the death of Moses. It contains 34 chapters. The collection of these five books together is called the Pentateuch or Torah. This is a Hebrew word meaning the law. The word is also occasionally used to mean the Old Testament in general. 6. The Book of Joshua salam. The Book of Joshua salam, is ascribed to the Prophet Joshua salam, son of Nu salam, who was the reliable servant and minister of Moses salam. He was made the prophet of Israelites after the death of Moses salam. He made war on the Amalekites and was victorious over them. This book describes his life up to the time of his death. It contains 24 chapters. 7. The Book of Judges the Book of Judges covers the period after the death of Joshua salam. This period is called the period of the judges because due to their transgression and wickedness, God set cruel foreign kings over them to punish them until they returned to God and repented their sins. Then some leaders were raised up among them and came to their rescue. These Israelite leaders were known as the Judges. It has 21 chapters. 8. The Book of Ruth The Book of Ruth describes events in the life of a woman of Moab called Ruth. She was the mother of Obed, the grandfather of the Prophet David salam. She migrated to Bethlehem and married Boaz. They bore a child Obed. His son was Jesse, who was the father of the Prophet David salam. It has only four chapters. 9. The First Book of Samuel salam. The First Book of Samuel salam concerns the Prophet Samuel salam who was the last of the judges of Israelites. Samuel salam was made king of the Israelites in his period. It also includes the killing of Goliath by David salam and other incidents up until the death of Samuel salam. It has 31 chapters. 10. The Second Book of Samuel alayhi salam. The Second Book of Samuel alayhi salam describes the events after the death of Saul. It includes the kingship of David alayhi salam and his war against the sons of Saul. It has 24 chapters. 11. The First Book of Kings. The first book of Kings begins with the old age of David salam, and includes the events of his death, the reign of the Prophet Solomon salam, his death and the lives of his sons up until the death of Ahab. The Prophet Elijah salam description is also included. It has 22 chapters. 12. The Second Book of Kings The Second Book of Kings includes the events from the death of Ahab to the reign of Zadikiah. The prophets Elijah and Josiah are also mentioned. It has 25 chapters.
13. Chronicles 1 Chronicles 1 comprises genealogies from Adam to Solomon alayhi salam ajma'in. It also includes short historical accounts leading up until the time of David alayhi salam and gives details of David's reign over the Israelites. It contains 36 chapters. 14. Chronicles 2 Chronicles 2 describes Solomon's rule in detail, alayhi salam, and also gives a short account of various kings after Solomon alayhi salam up until the reign of Zedekiah. The invasion of Nebuchadnezzar is also covered at the end. 15. The First Book of Ezra Ezra 1 describes the reconstruction of Jerusalem by Cyrus the king of Persia after the invasion of Nebuchadnezzar. It also mentions the exile of Ezra and return of the Israelites from Babylon to their homeland. It contains 10 chapters. 16. The Second Book of Ezra Ezra too is also called the Book of Nehemiah. Nehemiah was a cupbearer of Artaxerxes, the king of Persia. When he learnt about the destruction of Jerusalem by Nebuchadnezzar, he sought the king's permission and came to Jerusalem. He reconstructed it with the help of Ezra. This book describes all these events and the names of those who helped in rebuilding Jerusalem. These events took place in 445 BC. It contains 13 chapters. 17. The Book of Job alayhi salam. The Book of Job alayhi salam is said to be by the Prophet Job alayhi salam, whose patience and forbearance are also acknowledged and praised by the Holy Quran. He was born in Uz, a city to the east of the Dead Sea. The book mainly consists of conversations between Job alayhi salam and his three friends, Eliphaz the Timanite, Bildad the Shubite, Zophar the Namathite, who insist that the calamities of Job alayhi salam are the results of his sins while Job alayhi salam refutes this. This book is held to be of great literary merit. It contains 42 chapters. 18. The Book of Psalms The Book of Psalms is the corrupt form of the book of which the Holy Quran says, We have given the Zabu to Daud. The book is a collection of 150 psalms or songs of praise to God. 19. The Book of Proverbs The Book of Proverbs is a collection of the exhortations and proverbs of the Prophet Solomon alayhi salam. The Christians claim that this book was compiled by Solomon alayhi salam himself. Kings 1 says, And he spoke 3,000 proverbs. Chapter 4, verse 23 it contains 31 chapters. The Book of Ecclesiastes The Book of Ecclesiastes is also called the Book of the Preacher. It said the name of one of the sons of David was the Preacher. It begins with these words. The words of the Preacher, the son of David. The book is a collection of exhortations and advices. 21. The Book of the Song of Solomon The Book of the Song of Solomon is said to be a collection of songs which were composed by Solomon, of which the Books of Kings says. He spoke 3,000 proverbs and his songs were 1,005. It has eight chapters. 
22. The Book of Isaiah alayhi salam. The Book of Isaiah alayhi salam is ascribed to the Prophet Isaiah alayhi salam, son of Amoz, who was advisor to Hezekiah, the king of Judah in the 8th century BC. When Sennacherib, the king of Assyria, invaded Jerusalem, Isaiah alayhi salam was of great help to Hezekiah the king of Judah. This book is a collection of his visions and predictions of future events. These predictions according to the Christians were made by Isaiah in the reigns of the kings Azariah, Jotham and Hezekiah. It has 66 chapters. This book contains many passages of great literary merit. 23. The Book of Jeremiah alayhi salam. Jeremiah alayhi salam was an apostle and pupil of the Prophet Isaiah alayhi salam. God made him a prophet in the days of Joshua alayhi salam or Zedekiah alayhi salam. He was sent to the Israelites to prevent them from their perversion. He preached to the Israelites, but they did not listen to him. God revealed to him that Israelites would soon be subjected to a punishment from God in the form of an invasion by Nebuchadnezzar. Jeremiah alayhi salam warned them of this and advised them to surrender, but they mocked him. In the end, Jerusalem was totally destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar. The prophet Jeremiah alayhi salam migrated to Egypt. According to some scholars, the Holy Quran refers to this incident in Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 259. It has 56 chapters. 24. The Book of Lamentations The Book of Lamentations is a collection of songs of mourning which are said to have been compiled by the Prophet Jeremiah after the destruction of Jerusalem by Nebuchadnezzar. It has only five chapters. 25. The Book of Ezekiel The Book of Ezekiel is claimed to be by the Prophet Ezekiel the son of Buzi. He was a descendant of Levi, the son of Jacob alayhi salam. He fought bravely against Nebuchadnezzar. This book is said to be a collection of his revelations, which consists of predictions, exhortations and warnings to the people about God's judgment on them and about the coming fall and destruction of Jerusalem. 26. The Book of Daniel alayhi salam. The Prophet Daniel alayhi salam was among the wise people who were exiled from Judah and were taken into captivity by Nebuchadnezzar. The interpretations of some dreams of the king were made clear by him through revelations, and the king made him the governor of Babylon. It also includes the dreams of the Prophet Daniel alayhi salam regarding the future of the Israelites. These dreams also contain a prophecy about the advent of Jesus alayhi salam, the Messiah. It has 12 chapters. 27. The Book of Hosea Hosea was one of the prophets of the Israelites. He is said to have lived in the period of Jotham, Azariah, and Hezekiah, the kings of Judah. This book is said to have been revealed to him during the period of their reigns. The book mostly consists of his admonitions to the Israelites against their perversion. His revelations are mostly in the form of proverbs or in symbolic language. It consists of 14 chapters. 
Twenty-eight, the Book of Joel. The Torah, also known as Pentateuch, claims that Joel was a prophet of God. This book, which has only three chapters, consists of his revelations and includes injunctions about fasting and warnings against the evil deeds of the Israelites. Twenty-nine, the book of Amos. Amos is also said to be a prophet. In the beginning, he was a shepherd in the city of Tekoa. He was made prophet by God in circa 783 BC. The nine chapters of this book are said to have been revealed to him in the reign of King Azariah. This book comprises his admonitions to the Israelites. On account of their evil deeds, the book also predicts the invasion of Jerusalem by the king of Assyria as a punishment from God, which is mentioned in Genesis chapter twenty-nine, verse fifteen. Thirty, the book of Obadiah. This small scripture consists of only twenty-one verses. And includes a dream of Obadiah the prophet. There are some predictions regarding the defeat of Adam, the enemy of Judah. Thirty-one, the book of Jonah alayhi salam. This book is said to have been revealed to the prophet Jonah alayhi salam. He was sent to the people of Nineveh. The story given by Torah is a little different from the one known by the Muslims. Thirty-two, the book of Micah. This book is said to be from the prophet Micah, alayhi salam, the Morashite, who was a prophet in the period of the king Hezekiah, circa nine hundred B.C. He warned the Israelites of God's wrath on account of their perversion. The king Hezekiah acknowledged his prophethood and abstained from evil deeds, as told in Kings chapter thirty-two, verse twenty-six. Thirty-three, the book of Nahum. Nahum is also regarded as a prophet by the Torah. Very little is known about his life. This book of three chapters describes a dream of Nahum, which includes predictions of the downfall of the city of Nineveh. Thirty-four, the book of Habakkuk. Habakkuk is also claimed to be a prophet by the Torah. We are not definite about his period. The Torah seems to put him in the period before Nebuchadnezzar's invasion of Jerusalem. This book mentions of his dreams, which admonishes the Israelites on their evil deeds, and predicts the destruction of Jerusalem by Nebuchadnezzar. It has three chapters. Thirty-five, the book of Zephaniah. Zephaniah is also supposed to be a prophet who was ordained by God to prophethood in the period of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah. The script of three chapters warns the people of Israel against the invasion of Jerusalem by Nebuchadnezzar. Thirty-six, the book of Haggai. The script of two chapters is attributed to Prophet Haggai, who lived in the time of Darius, the king of Persia, in 500 B.C. After the invasion of Nebuchadnezzar, he urged the Israelites to rebuild Jerusalem and warned those who obstructed them. Thirty-seven, the Book of Zechariah. Zechariah was also a prophet. It should be noted here that this Zechariah is not the one 
who has been mentioned in the Holy Quran. He is said to be a companion of the Prophet Haggai at the time of the rebuilding of Jerusalem. This book consists mostly of dreams which include prophecies regarding the future of the Israelites and the coming of the Prophet Jesus a.s. It has 14 chapters. And 38. The Book of Malachi. The Book of Malachi is ascribed to the Prophet Malachi. He is the last prophet of the Old Testament. The book has four chapters and describes the thanklessness of the Israelites. The prophet Malachi lived about 420 years before the prophet Jesus alayhi salam, the Messiah. These 38 books are believed to be genuine and authentic by almost all the Christians. The Samaritans, however, a sect of the Jews, believed in only seven of them. That is the five books of Moses alayhi salam and the book of Joshua alayhi salam, son of Nuh alayhi salam, and the book of Judges. Their name refers to the city of Samaria in Palestine. They differ from the Jews in two points. The acknowledged number of the books and what constitutes a place of worship.